Hey everyone, what's up? This is Entry 12 for the new Entry Series. And first of all, Happy Easter, Resurrection Day, no matter how you look at it. And, uh, what can I say about this weekend so far? Um, this past Friday night, um, my mom and I went to our pastor's house and saw the Passion of the Christ. And, uh, <coughs> despite the fact that I had the movie, since I lived in Kansas, I, I bought it when I lived in Kansas, despite the fact that I had it, I had never really seen it. I mean, I saw some, you know, clips here and there, little glimpses, but, um, I learned that it's one of those movies that, really, you can't watch on your own. It's just very, very powerful, and, you know, it's just like, it leaves a lasting impression on you. I mean, I mean, uh, I remember, I remember, um, you know, just watching some scenes, and, you know, I, I couldn't watch certain scenes at times, you know. Uh, my mom actually thought I was falling asleep in there, because, you know, we sat up front, you know, uh, our pastor basically took their uh, couch, one of the love seats, I think the love seat, was, no, it's the couch. And they turned it sideways to front, and turned it, turned it sideways to you know, be facing the television. And uh, we watched, and the thing is, like I said, I had to put my eyes down sometimes. You know, I didn't close my eyes. I mean, I just, I mean, I, it's like, it's like I'm looking at you right now through this video. But if I was, while I was watching certain scenes in The Passion, I had to like, you know, look down, you know, kind of act like I was trying to look at it, but I was just looking down, kind of, like I could see it, like, like I had looked down, but I could see that like glimpse of the TV up, you know, see the t I could still see it, but just, you know, look down at certain times, um, I mean, again, it's just one of those films that, yeah, it's a good film, it's got a great, it definitely is a great depiction of what Jesus went through for us, um, but it's just one of those films that, you know, really, you know, there's certain times you got to just, you know, look down, act like you're looking at it. You know, it's, you know, there's basically a certain scenes in that where you got to look down, I don't make it look like you're uh, watching it, but in, but in turn, you're, you're not. You know, I mean, I watched the majority of the whole movie with them. There's like certain scenes, like the children attacking, the demon, the demons disguised as children attacking Judas, the the dark demon just coming out of no, the demon coming out of the darkness. The first one was like really just freaky, you know, at times. But again, it had a very pow definitely a very powerful depiction. Probably the most ac not accurate, but the most powerful depiction of what happened to what Jesus went through for us. And it is a good movie. And you know, like I said, it's just one of those movies you don't see on your own. Um, Unless you're with family and friends, and fortunately that's what we with with was friends or church family, if you will. And I just remember after that movie ended, it was like complete silence in there. It's just, it just you know, it's just that kind of movie. It just leaves it in under you know, a, a very long-lasting impression on you because it was just so quiet and everything. And um, you know, our, you know, our pastor told us of stories that. When it first came out in 04, they were living, I think, in Stockton or something like that. And, and along with one of the fellow churches out there, they went to go see it. And everybody just walked out after it was over, just complete silence. You know, it's just one of those movies. And, um, you know, on Saturday, you know, besides that, and again, it still leaves a lesson impression on you, but uh, on Saturday, I called up my dad, wished him a happy birthday. My dad turned 62 this week, uh, yesterday. He went and spent his uh, birthday at the Prairie Brand Casinos in uh, Kansas. So, um, you know, because obviously, you know, they've given him free room, free food, free money, I guess, you know, because, you know, he goes up there on occasions. So he went there for his birthday. I called him up, wished him one. Got him a card, um, one of those cards that talks to you and everything. It's the Larry Cable Guy. It's the Larry the Cable Guy card, you know. So, 
know, you know, and uh, you know, my mom and I yesterday relaxed. Uh, we just relaxed yesterday. Got you know, got some stuff that we're gonna. She needed to make her dessert for um, her ambrosia dessert that she's we're gonna eat tonight at my sister's in a little while. And then, uh, you know, that's about it. We had pizza last night. My mom watched the, uh, the Shroud of Turin last night. And uh, apparently and it looked like a good special. Definitely a great, uh, definitely the closest we're ever going to find. Until we get raptured up, it's the closest we'll ever know what Jesus looks like. Until we get, until... We Christians and other people that know that have been baptized and born again, you know, when we get raptured up, we then we will know what you know Jesus really looks like. But right now is the closest depiction I think anybody had had, um, you know, with that shroud. And, um, and then today we um, oh yeah, and yesterday I made myself another CMV, a uh, comic, comic music video, comic book music video. It was a song, the Hitchcock comic book music video, of course. And I used the song, What Faith Can Do, by Cutlass. And one of the guys I subscribed to on YouTube, who subscribed to me as well, Jamie Dude, um, he said, he once again said, you know, I have great taste in music, and it was just beautifully done. So I did that. And then today, we woke up around 5, left the house about 6, and went to uh, Vista Point. Got lost a little bit, got lost for a little while. Um, we ended up, because the directions we were given, or I was given, was to go down south to Crow's Landing and turn off there and then get back on board northbound to, uh, to go until you see Vista Point. And um, what was confusing about that is my mom and I were told about another um, way of getting off, which was Frisk Road. And um, what happened is that it said Frisk Road, but it didn't say Crow's Landing. Like Frisk Road, you know, underlined or slash Crow's, Crow's Landing exit. It didn't say that. And we should have. I should have listened to my mom because that was the exit we needed. And we ended up driving almost into Newman. So we had to get off the turn off there, turn around, and go back north. Um, thankfully, we didn't really miss anything because I think we had just gotten there, there and they were just getting ready to start. And our pastor and his wife said they, they saw us driving past them, like, oh, wait a minute, you know, you guys need to turn off here, you know. So, um, but yeah, we what we did is we did a sunrise service, had music, and uh, saw the... I guess in a way you could say you saw the sun come up, and we had some clouds and everything, and um, you'll probably see a video of that here on YouTube, you know, but it was, you can see the cloud coming a little bit, kind of hidden by the cloud. I mean, not the clouds, but the sun coming up a little bit. It was hidden by the clouds, but it was there. And uh, then after that, we went home, relaxed for a few more hours, uh, went back, then went to church at the Creekside Middle School, uh, helped out with communion. Um, then, uh, you know, helped out with communion both ways, serving, you know, preparing it and then serving it later on at the end. Um, had a great message, of course, from our pastor. And, uh, then at the end of, uh, at the end of the scripture reading, they showed, to kind of coincide with it, to coincide with the scripture reading of the day, they showed about five minutes of the past, of the ending of the Passion of the Christ. And uh, one of our friends, young friends, one of our young friends there, uh, left before they came on, took their daughter and the, basically took the kids, if you will. And our, young fr and our friend took the kids, and our friends took the kids and, and, and left because, um, you know, they, you know, the kid, because, you know, they feel as though, and I know they're not alone in this, they feel as though that the uh, kids aren't ready to see something like that. And uh, what's funny about this is we had almost a similar kind of disagreement and argument for a while. It was kind of more like a miscommunication. 
about, you know, the animated passion, but, you know, that was about it. Uh, my older sister was there along with her family, and, uh, and then after that, we uh, went to Modesto. My mom took care of some of her bank business, and then we uh, came, went to the store, came back to Patterson, went to the store, came back here. Currently, we're relaxing, or she is. And in just a little bit, we're going to head down to my older sister's for uh, Easter and Easter egg hunt and Easter dinner with her in-laws, my other sister and her family, and we'll just see where we go from there. But uh, that's all I can say for entry number 12 of the new entry series. I hope you liked it. If you got any comments, feedback, let me know. I'll talk to you all later.